Hello my beautiful fellow Virgos, how you guys doing? I'm gonna do a love reading, I'm gonna do a love reading. That two of cups, it flew out. It was like, sorry, I've got to be here. How you see each other spread for Virgo? Picks up on two energies, Virgos, all right? We're gonna jump straight into this as soon as I get the cards going. Two energies, this is clearly one person's energy or both. It could even be uh, the foundation of this reading. There's a whole lot of love, respect, a bond, a connection, a mutual respect here. Connections are starting to be formed, all right? So how you see each other spread for Virgo? Mm-hmm. Yes. I have a feeling. Right. <laughs> well, here we go. Here we bloody go. Listen, there's major changes here. People are going through major changes. Uh, major arcana we've got quite a lot here we've got water energy here that's dominating the reading so maybe some of you are dealing with a water sign obviously we just had that new that full moon super moon right in scorpio okay major changes that's going to affect everybody a lot in a lot of different ways so virgo for me as a spiritual person what i did last night was i wrote down a few things just you know one word listed of what i wanted to get rid of okay and you still have time to do that you can still do that and burn it burn that intention what it is you want to get rid of what no longer serves you for the month of april right we're going into may this is the theme the love the energy of may all right that's where my intention is at so going back to the love reading, okay, this is how you guys are viewing each other, what you want and where you believe it's going, all right? So either your energy or their energy, Virgo, all right? There is a connection here. Someone's viewing somebody here as very, res there's respect here, you know, there's an essence of respect between two people mutual respect a mutual understanding a blending of souls you both pouring into each other it's almost like 50 50 i feel like someone's someone's seeing somebody here as very generous there's a quality here a balance it's 50 50 it's give and take it's not just take and it's not just give so, you know, someone's definitely viewing somebody here in a highly respectable way. You give, I give. Yin and yang. You know, that there's a lovely blend here of both people. The next energy and how someone's being viewed here. Again, very generous. A new beginning. Something that's beginning to sprout. Something that's beginning to form. Whether you're with your person or not, you know, there's a connection here that is very generous towards each other very practical as well i feel like someone's viewing somebody here as very stable very practical a new beginning an offer very generous these are the key words you know an opportunity someone's viewing somebody here as an opportunity an opportunity an opportunity to what break away from something here the chains or fear, the confusion, going on to the want. I definitely feel like someone <clears throat> is wanting to face their fears here. Not wanting to feel confused, like maybe there's a bit of confusion right now, whether it's been spoken about. It's almost like someone doesn't want options as well because we're in the upright position. It can talk about confusion and having options and not, not wanting to make the 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 wrong choice right and i definitely feel that in the reverse position it's almost like i'm not confused or i don't want to be confused I, you know i'm not going to make the wrong choice somebody does somebody wants to make the right choice here and and, and I, I feel that in both of you you and your person i feel there's a, a tad of confusion here emotions are 
maybe suppressed, you know, and kept to the back of their mind in order for people to figure out what it is they want or, you know, get a more understanding. Where you guys believe it's going, all right? So let's start off with the devil card here. This is a calling, an addiction. You know, someone believes that they're going to be chained, tied to this person. It's almost like an, an invisible thread. Sexual chemistry as well. You know, someone believes that there's there's a there's a high chance of 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 love making or or having having a you know a, a good sex life. And and the thing is, with these cards here, both next to each other, they both talk about a rebirth. You know, and and releasing from the past. So someone believes that they're going to be releasing a here definitely on this bottom energy, releasing from shit that kept them confused and kept their mind fuzzy and they don't know where they were going. They, they There's major changes here on both parties. A rebirth, a new chapter, letting go, releasing what holds you back, what no longer serves you, right? And that's the job of the full moon. It naturally happens. You don't have to be a witchy person. I like this. The bottom of the deck. Going into karma waters, Virgo. All right. Stability. That is what you offer people. I definitely feel like this is no longer being alone or at least being in hermit mode. Not rushing as well. There's a lot of loyalty here. Like I feel loyalty. I feel love. I feel less loneliness. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. So I think tarot angels are saying whether you are with a person or not, whether you're with your person or not, things are leveling up, right? Something may have begun. There is a union here. It says a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort and safety. And then we have the wedding card, which is a testament of, of someone's love, right? Breathe life into faith and love, dearest one. Continue in this loving, oh, I love the trustworthy, go for it. Release and surrender, family. I'm loving all these cards. Heart chakra right there next to it. Love is the heart of the matter, always. When we love so much, ugh, so much possibilities. Right, what does Virgo need to know before we go? What does Virgo need to know? Oh, I like it. You know, people are going to compete with you. Tara is telling me, angels are telling me to tell you, people are going to try and fuck up your happiness. Wow, that's not really, you know, we need to hear it. It's, you know, I do think like someone, so, you know, that, that, that we get that. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. Not everything needs a reaction, Virgo, right? But stand your ground. You, you, you know what's up. You always do. It's others that need to catch up. Oh, amen. Yes. Clarity, cutting out the bullshit. You know, that's truth being uh, delivered. Giving people a piece of their mind if needs be. If needs be. Use your logic. Don't act on impulse. Never act on impulse. It happens. If you've got something to say, then it's best to get it out. And oh yes, this flew out. This is where the, the reading's coming to an end, guys. Angels are saying, listen, a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. Love is always the matter. 
is always the the dominator. If we can use love every day in life, then we are good. We are good. We can get through shit. So speak your mind if needs be. But remember to choose your words wisely. Give only love. And there's two of cups to finish off and start your reading, you know. There's bonds getting thicker. You know, love is getting stronger. Respect. Gratitude. Loyalty. Continue on. I'm here. This is what I'm hearing. C continue on, Virgo. Carry on. Continue forth. Everything's going to be all right. It's all going to be all right on the night. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, and I keep hearing the name Andy. I don't know why. The last couple of days. Anyway, love, peace and light, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it did in any way. Um, catch me on social media. You can book me for a private as well. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. Mwah.